All right, looks like a pretty normal posting. Not really seeing anything jump out. Oh. To qualify for this position, you must be vegan. That's the literal first qualification that you need is to be vegan to work at this company? Hello everyone, my name is Adam and welcome back to Pliplop. And once again, we find ourselves in the world of recruiter hell. Let's get into it. When will you hear back? This employer typically responds to applications in 10 to 11 days. Candidates are encouraged to respond within three days of employer contact. Hmm. The duality of man and recruiter. Okay, let's see here. We got some benefits, we got the schedule. Application questions. This position has two requirements. First, we are a West Coast company. You must work at a minimum 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. With this assistant role, there may be tasks that require you outside of office hours. Second, while this position is fully remote, this is not a freelancer type of position. You must be in our virtual office. Think being on Zoom during work hours. By applying, you understand and accept these two requirements. There will be an opportunity for questions later in the interview process. Damn, so you literally have to spend all day in this digital jail, aka Zoom, aka their virtual office? That sounds... Horrendous. Which would you read first? The psychology of negotiating to win, creating balance in work and home life, new breakthrough theory revealed, traditional methods to increase effectiveness, discovering your unique edge, breaking news and market conditions, a new spirit of volunteering emerges. Yeah, I have no clue what they're looking for here. It, wh wh what happened with companies where they want you to literally solve the Da Vinci Code when you're applying to their organization? Oh god, here we go. You probably don't want this job. There are new things every day, and there isn't a lot of routine. Things pop up, and you'll need to just figure it out. Use your instincts, find solutions. Some of the things we do haven't been done anywhere else. We're a software company, and a digital agency, and we love to help the causes and communities we're passionate about. We're a team of creatives, designers, developers, and marketers who enjoy creating digital experience for our customers around the globe. Is it digital? Does it involve creative marketing and software development? Then we do it. Other reasons you may not want this job. You'll have to do all the things. Little things, big things, glorious things, boring things. Kitchen's messy, you're up. Brochures didn't print, you know how to fix that. 50 emails to respond to, half of which you don't have context for, that's okay, because you'll know who to ask. Mike forgot his anniversary? You already knew he would, so you ordered flowers yesterday. This is remarkably cringe. So I'm sorry that you had to sit through that. Like the whole, we do things different here, is so overplayed at this point and overused that you're almost better off just being like, yep, we're a company, we will hire and pay you, so feel free to apply. And you'd probably have better luck. You've been selected for an interview. Hi, Gray Square. You did it. You got the interview. Now it's time to prepare. And one hour and 29 minutes later, thank you for your interest. Hi, Gray Square. Thanks for your interest. We appreciate the time you took to apply with us. At this time, we've decided not to move forward with your application for our Gray Square position. Yeah, they really need to figure out these automated emails that get sent out. Perks, certificate of completion, letter of recommendation, LinkedIn recommendation, flexible hours, work from home, unpaid internship. Not sure why that falls under the perks section, but okay. Worker, quits. Workers, are you gonna replace them? That position was important. Company, <laughs> no. Is anyone gonna get a raise for picking up their work? Nope. More workers quit. Damn. Everyone's leaving. That's nuts. I retain the right to fire you at any time for any reason. The same goes for me quitting, right? Technically, but you wouldn't do that to me. We're a... We're a family. Compensation, 30000 to 40000 based on experience plus benefits. Full-time position. As a full-time salaried position, this position will not be permitted to freelance or work on any other jobs during the course of employment. Yeah, not really sure if that's legal to uh, make someone do that, but who knows? 
Okay, this appears to be a LinkedIn DM. Let's see what this is. Yeah, you're clearly not being very open-minded and willing to breach your comfort zone. That's what you're saying in a nutshell. Might as well remove open to opportunities on your LinkedIn then, as you clearly have no intent on leaving Black Smudge. You kind of wasted everyone's time here and made unreasonable requests, particularly when it came to salary, as what they've offered is well above market value for a software engineer with three to four years of experience. You also knew what was coming in the written offer since we told you in advance, and despite that, you pushed to receive it just to reject it? Something very off about that and not really sure what your intent was by going through all this. Whoa. I think attacking my character is a little unprofessional and uncalled for. So is this just like a salty recruiter? Well, I guess, hence the name, hence the topic for today. We're in recruiting hell, so that would make sense. But yeah, you, you don't really see uh, LinkedIn DMs get spicy too often. True story. An employer invited six people for an interview by 7 a.m. They were all punctual, and before the time, he told them to wait. By 3 p.m., three had left. By 6 p.m., he came and met only two. They got the job. That was the interview. Test of patience. This was not a test of patience. It is a test of submissiveness. Yeah, this is probably the dumbest thing I've ever read. This is like some boomer, good old days, Facebook, LinkedIn stuff. Job similar to senior network engineer, virtual position, US Foods. Deliver with DoorDash. Manager in training at Sam's Club. Stocking and unloading. Chef. Deliver with DoorDash. Uh, I'm, look, I'm not knocking any of those professions, but clearly those don't align with a senior network engineer. Dear IT recruiters, I decided to inform you that I don't want to be your next superstar or rock star. Also, I'm not a ninja of any soft or of any technology. Actually, ninjas used to blend in to steal secrets and kill for hire, so for me it actually looks quite scary, and if you need one on your team, I cannot kill anyone with Spring Boot app, or at least intentionally. No, I don't want to be part of company XXX family. I got my own family, which I love with my whole heart, but even this lovely family sometimes kind of makes me go amok. So I don't need an additional one with a bunch of grown-ups who I cannot ground for inappropriate behavior or temporarily disable their credit card for leaving a clutter after themselves. I'm not dreaming about working with a team of superstars or superheroes. Somehow I prefer a skill of writing meaningful git commit comments over an ability to produce tons of code overnight or finding bugs in code with x-ray vision, though x-ray vision is cool. What I'm really interested in is to work with a team of grown-ups, responsible adults, who's able to put their ego a bit besides team's interests and together to move towards a common goal. Oh wait, I'm already working in such a team, so good luck with your search of your company's next rock star, superstar, ninja star. Damn, my man just wrote a straight up manifesto. IT recruiters are just punching the air right now. I applied through employee referral. The process took one day. I interviewed at HSBC Holdings. The interview process was very simple. My dad knew the vice CEO of the company, so therefore my interview process was fairly basic and simple. The interview was very chilled and relaxed and I didn't feel any pressure at all because I knew I was going to get the job. Interview questions. How is your father? It's kind of funny that this is just like documented on Glassdoor or something. Which statement do you agree with more? I enjoy finding out why things are done the way they are. I don't use work supplies for non-work purposes. So though these are both weirdly worded and just kind of weird in general, they're both kind of positive, so I'm not sure which answer they're looking for. Job type, full time, pay, one to two dollars per hour. Education, bachelor's preferred. Experience, one year of human resources and one year of benefits administration. Ah yes, time to collect my $40 paycheck after my 40 hour work week. Do you promise to love us unconditionally and to value your employer above your friends and family? <laughs> no, I just wanna make money. Look me in the eye and tell me you would jump on a live hand grenade to protect this Wendy's. All right, that's it for today, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like or letting us know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoy these types of videos in general, why not consider subscribing? Thanks for sticking around and we'll see you in the next one.